Well, what's up, guys? Dick Opinion here. Let's play some more DayZ standalone and let's really talk about what's there to do. Don't get me wrong. I want to go exploring. I want to go find some more stuff. Maybe get a weapon, shoot some people, have some fun adventures. And I'm sure all that will happen. And also, even, you know, co op. You know, I've been playing with my buddies lately, too. But what's there to do after that? We just got to wait for some updates, wait for some cars and this or that. Because I don't know, man. I've been looking around. I found most everything. You know, the rarest thing to me is bullets and bullet like hoisters. But. Man, I'm just, I just, that's what really sucks when you play something in uh, alpha, you know, you play in alpha and you get really bored of it, it's like, it's really doesn't feel like it's a full game, it feels like it's really small, and by the time it gets to like beta, you're already like, you played it so much, you're already burnt out, and by the time it gets fully put out to where it's at its very best, normally, you're bored of it, you don't want to play a game anymore, and you're just done. So, I don't know, man. It's always a struggle. Would you rather play on Alpha and show the first footage and enjoy it a little bit? Or would you rather, you know, try to wait like a kid waiting for Christmas to see their best gift and then play it when it's full? It's hard to decide, hard to decide. But, like I said, it's in Alpha. It's very glitchy. Most zombies, as you see here, can glitch through walls. They literally, if you go hide from a zombie in a house, they'll glitch through the door, they'll glitch through the wall. So, you pretty much can't escape zombies at this point. They pretty much just will run after you. They can see you from a mouth. And they'll run after you and just try to attack you. So you pretty much got to take them out. Like, even if you run, like, I've ran, like, seriously, like, a mile out. And still had a dumb bitch zombie be following me. And here another one just showed up. And these are just glitching the floor. Luckily, they couldn't hit me. But just so as an example what we have to deal with on this alpha stage. But I don't know. I've been playing DayZ for a long time. I, I think even when it is fully released, I'll probably still play it. So, let's get the hell out of here. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Um, you know these stairs right here. Have you tried to go on these roofs? And you go up it and you fall right back down and almost die? Ugh, they suck. There's so many little bugs here that's like, Hey, if you do this, you might fall off it and die. It's kind of lame. But, you know, I, I still, I don't know. The appeal of this game is so big still. Like, it sold about, what, a million copies already in just alpha within its first month. And that's insane for a game that had no promotion and, like, nothing. It just showed up in Steam Early Access, you know? He was like, okay, there it is. There's no, like, build-up for it or nothing, and it still sold that much. It just shows how fun this game is. I mean, me and my lady were talking about it earlier, and it really is kind of like a running simulation because you're just running down the docks the whole entire time, and then sometimes you're getting a zombie fight and find stuff, but you're mostly running around, but it's just... I don't know the feel of it you're going around running into real people and sometimes zombies and scavenging and just that feel of this feels like the real world with real people and kind of a real zombie apocalypse is what really sells it you know it's obviously not the all the craziness of flying around of helicopters of cars I mean all that stuff will come soon but that's not you know the basics of DayZ. you know it's like going back to minecraft just sticking in creative mode and not having all the crazy like crazy stuff minecraft is there'll be a straight up block builder and it'll be straight up fun so let's look up here and see all the views i like looking at the views they look all the pretty you know i got this map on my ipod so i can kind of just have it in front of me and i can see where i'm at at all times and kind of get a good location of where i want to go but i just like coming up here for the views and trying to see people it's very, very relaxing. And uh, that's kind of what I hope to get from these videos. I know it's not the most excited thing ever. I'm trying to think of what more we could actually show on DayZ be besides, you know, like multiplayer and just friends messing around. But that's how it is, you know? We might not post this at DayZ for a couple months and then an exciting update comes out and then we post it all month long, you know? That's how it kind of runs. And, and I think that's... I think that's really fun. But I'm going to show you how I died. And this is like the crazy stuff that should have happened. I should have pulled out my gun and tried to shoot him. But this guy was pretty chaotic. But if you want to see more DayZ, like the video, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys think. And uh, it is really fun. I've been playing this a lot. And I've been playing it a lot with friends. We'll definitely have that coming soon. And this is how it ended. Me versus this crazy guy that can do circles better than I can. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Just fly. Peace.